against you. <laughs> Out of the shadows and into the light, 
I see you, horsemen. The things you have done. The lives you have ended. I know why you are here. Then you will give me the key. I have guarded the key for centuries. It is mine, and I will not part with it lightly. Not now. Corruption spreads. In our city. In our hearts. Only I remain pure. A beacon against the darkness. Helpless to push it back. We are not all helpless, Arkham. Huh. Perhaps not. After the seals were broken, and Hell's legions loosed upon the Earth, many divine relics were lost. One, the Rod of Arafel, could help reverse what has happened here. I dare not retrieve the Rod myself. The gates to the White City are closed to any angel who visits Earth. But you... are no angel. Acquire the Rod, and I will clear a path into my citadel. There you will find the key to the Tree of Life. As for what you will find on Earth, after you face it, even you may curse the name of war. The pool will bring you to Earth, Rider. Do not tarry here. If you want the rod, you will tell me where to find it. I have seen much while staring into the deep, but that I cannot tell you. The Kingdom of Man was swallowed by darkness when the armies of Hell invaded. I have seen only glimpses of the Earth since then. But enough to know that the Rod of Arafel is safe, and our only hope of redemption. How does the City of Light fall to corruption? It wasn't the city that fell, but those within. It began with just one angel. Weak of will, given to doubts. When the darkness called, he welcomed it in. From him, the corruption spread. It seemed only I could sense it, gathering above our heads. And though I warned my brothers of the storm that was to come, only when the cloud burst did the City of Light fall. And other ran your pool. Is it the only way to the Kingdom of Man? To preserve the balance, the Chard Council forbade all travel to the Third Kingdom and destroyed those means that already existed. Even the Tree of Life was burnt. Yet you have the means to travel to Earth. Not everyone obeys the Council Death. That is why they have their horsemen. You speak of this realm as if it were your own. The guards call this place. There's nothing else. Not until you find the Rod Horsemen. Then all will be revealed.
I should kill you for what your brother did here. But you saved my consider us evil. What do you know about the Rod of Arafel? A weapon of immense power, brought to Earth by the Archon Hestus to battle the demons in the End War. But Hestus fell, and the Rod was shattered. Now the Destroyer uses its pieces to fuel his army of darkness. What was broken can be reformed. Where are the pieces of the Rod? In the hands of the Destroyer. He has summoned creatures from the Abyss, and drawn forth his chosen. Things of blasphemy, who even now divide this world into their own hellish domains. The suffering- One mind, easily sundered. I will not risk more Helgard to recapture the Rod of Arafel, but should you wish to undertake this fool's errand, and follow the trail of corpses, let- The fool's errand? Well, it would not be my first. Why are the Helgard still on Earth? Lost, you will, in case you haven't noticed. Where else would we go? All of creation saw what happened here. How the Hellguard marched before the seals were broken. The White City is closed to us. We can never go home. How many? Too many. But for every dead angel, there is another, kept alive against his will. Their suffering empowers the Destroyer. Perhaps you could release them from their torment, Pale Rider. If you wish. That is blessing enough. Are these chosen? They don't look like demons. No, they are something far more ancient, drawn from the heart of the Abyss. The most powerful serve the Destroyer, and rule in his name over Ash and Bone. The rest kill everything around them. It is a wonder you've lasted this long. Even you speak of the Swarm, of all the creatures that roam the wastes. They most hunger for revenge. Not even death can stop them. 